Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and today we are going to add loot to the game. So as we destroy these uh, resources, they're going to give us loot. So let's just have a quick look. And yeah, as you can see, they're going to drop some loot, and this one should as well. Uh, and yeah, and the loot drops are randomised, so sometimes you'll get loads, sometimes you'll get none. I think 10 is the maximum, but obviously you guys can play with that and, you know, choose whatever you want. So yeah. Let's get started. So first up then, we need to add the sprites, so let's get the axe. Uh, just sprite inv axe. I'm actually not sure why I've, I've got inv in these sprite names, but <laughs> that's just how we started it, so we're going to keep it like that. They could have just been called sprite axe and stuff, but whatever. Anyway, you'll find these in the, in the description, I'm just going to uh, skip ahead. So there's the axe, there's the rock, or oh, make sure that the, uh, the sprites are bottom center for the origin. And there's the wood. Okay, so uh, if we go to Object Control in the Create event, just at the top. Oops, let me just make this bigger, actually, before I forget. So at the top, just indicate Randomize. So Randomize will just give us a different seed every time, so that every time you have like a random variable, it will be different to the previous time. Like without this, without this, if we have a random variable, it will. Every time we start the game, you'll get the same value from the random variable, whereas this gives you a random seed. That's all. Okay, so let's create object axe. So let's just duplicate uh, object spade. And let's just call it object axe. And the only difference needs to be we need to change the type to axe. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to put that up here. Uh, next up... We need to edit the tree just a little bit, uh, and the only thing we really need to do is in here. We're just going to make it. We're not going to make it fall this episode. I'm going to add that in as like a little hot fixy type thing. I think, uh, even though it's not really a hot fix, I, you know what I mean. I'll I'll just add it in in like a, a separate video. So we're going to say var ran loot, and this is going to equal i random up to ten. We're going to say for i equals zero, while i is less than ran loot, um, i plus equal one. And we'll just say instance create layer um, x and y uh, instances, and then we'll just go with object loot wood, because obviously this is in the tree. And then what we can do is we can just copy that and if we go to the boulder, we can just uh, paste it over this. Oops. Just paste it over that, and instead, let's just go with uh, stone. Did I call it stone or rock? Oh, I haven't even created it yet. Uh, let's go with rock. My bad. Uh, so now let's create object uh, loot rock. So, rock. Uh, let's link it to its sprite, and then yeah, we're gonna need the create event. So let's just call this initialize. So let's go with uh, depth equals minus y. We'll go with shadow y equals y. So the shadow is gonna because what's gonna happen is when object loot, uh, when any object loot is created, it's gonna be created and it's going to like bounce up in the air and land in a random like position and then I just want the shadow to be drawn where it's going to land so that it gives the illusion that it's above the ground um, let's go with initialized equals false uh, let's go var run x and this will just dictate where it then lands so we'll go from we'll go for a uh, random range between minus 50 and 50 We'll then create a path. We'll say my path, uh, uh, my, yeah, my path equals path add. We'll go with path uh, add point. Oops. And then for the first point is uh, we'll just add the x where it starts, so the x and y. Oops. First, we have to state my path and x y at a speed of twenty. Uh, that that's. I know that looks really fast, but it's not when you're using paths. It's actually quite, it's just a normal speed. Uh, and then I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to say plus 
run x, uh, y sort of minus 30, and then let's copy it again, and then it will land at the same spot. So yeah, and then we're just going to go with uh, path set precision, and then we'll just go my path, and we'll set it uh, as with a precision of 8, it just makes it, um, as it falls, it'll just make it not look very jaggy, like it'll be real smooth. And then we'll just path set closed. So we'll make sure that the path doesn't loop around again. Um, and then we'll start the path. So path start. Uh, my path at a speed of 20. No end action. And absolute is no. And then we'll just start an alarm. Uh, and this alarm will just destroy it. We'll destroy the instance after 5 minutes. So, what this is, is if you put a number, a value in here, and then times it by the room speed, that converts it to seconds. So, 300 seconds, I believe, is 5 minutes. Yeah. So, next up, we need the draw vent, and we're going to draw the shadow in here. So, I'll oh, just, just shadow, whatever. And we've seen this code before, but it's a little bit different, so I'm just going to type it out. So let's say draw set alpha as 0.3, as we normally would for the shadows. And then we'll say if uh, initialized is false, uh, then draw the ellipse as a color. And we'll just draw x minus sprite width. Divide two. Yeah, we've seen this before. Just make this bigger though. Okay, so divide two, and then the y will just say y minus five. X can be plus sprite width. Divide two, and then y plus three. We'll go c black, c black, and no outline. And then we'll just say else. Draw this again. Oh, actually, hang on. This should be shadow y and shadow y, or else draw it at the where where the sprite actually is, and then we'll just uh, set the alpha back to one, and then we'll draw self. Okay. So now we need a step event. And we'll just say main, whatever. And in here we're just going to say depth equals minus y. We're going to say if uh, path index equals minus 1. So this means that the path is finished. Then we'll say initialized is true. Uh, we'll say if uh, initialized is true. Then we'll say if instance place on our x and y is another parent loop which will create this in a minute. So if on the on the particular loop spot is another piece of loop, then we'll just move outside. Uh, all, and we'll just go i random um, just 360 degrees is fine at a speed of 2. I guess is also fine. Uh, yeah, there you go. Right, so now let's set the alarm up. The alarm is relatively simple. We're just going to say uh, destroy and obviously instance destroy. Okay, so now we're just going to dupe this, dupe this object, and rename it object loop uh, wood. And everything is the exact same. Uh, we're then going to Create the parent. So, par loop. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't uh, change the sprite. But yeah, then we're just going to link it up to the parent. Just like that. Uh, and then we're going to go to object Rupert because now we're just going to create like a, a tree, a test tree. And we'll just, uh, yeah, minus 50. Oops. And change it to tree. Almost forgot to do that then. 
And in the tree, because it's a little bit too big at three, so let's just turn it down to two. Uh, in object UI, let's give ourselves the axe. So object axe. Uh, and yeah, this should just work. So let's try it. Ah, my bad. Uh, in object axe, I never changed the <laughs> the sprite. So yeah, let's try now. Uh, so yeah, let's test it. Please work. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it gets it looks a little bit spazzy, but I actually don't mind it too much. Uh, and yeah, let's just do this as well. And yeah, <laughs> there you go, guys. It's sorted now. And I also noticed that um, this is still spazzing out a little bit in this one. I guess I forgot to do it. Uh, so I'll, I'll do it now in this build. Uh, but if you remember back to the hotfix, when we sorted out the the layers and the depths and stuff, I guess I just have to do that in this build. So just for those of you that didn't see it, in a script draw tool, we then delete this. We go to the individual... Um, thing here, uh, individual objects, step event, make it say depth, and then we'll just copy this event, and we'll place it in each tool. And now let's just check it again, see and yeah, there we go, that's much better. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, and in the next one, we will get an inventory going so we can pick this stuff up. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we can actually start on the survival elements. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.